Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I have my CIPS electrical officer with me. So sir, uh, welcome back to my channel. Can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, I am myself, Mathur Pillai Srijit, Electrotechnical Officer of Shipping Corporation of India. So sir, uh, from how many years you are working on board ship and what type of ships you have done? Yeah, about five years I am in Shipping Corporation of India and uh, different type of diff uh, every time I got different type of ships like passenger, VLCC and uh, research vessel, okay. electric propulsion, DP vessels, uh, everything I have already done. Sir, as you know, everyone on board ship have their own responsibility. So, uh, can you tell me what is your responsibility as an electrical officer? <clears throat> yeah, my duty is to ensure the safety of the ship by maintaining all electrical and electronic systems in the ship. So sir, what are your normal working hours and what type of work you are actually doing in your working hours? Actually, I am working from morning 7 to uh, evening 5. Actually, my work is 24 hours standby duty. Actually, there is only one electrical officer in the ship. So I have to maintain all the electric, uh, electric equipment. So working hours, we can't, we can't say anything. Okay. Because uh, work anytime work can come. Mm. This is a ship. <laughs> <laughs> sir, so next thing I want to ask you. If anybody wants to become electrical officer on board ship, so how he can become? Yeah, first of all, he need to pursue BE or BTEC in electrical or and electrical engineering. And uh, so, some colleges are taking with diploma electrical engineering, but company is not preferring any uh, diploma in the in, in the ship. So uh, by taking <clears throat> better you uh, join after taking uh, after pursuing. BTEC or BE in electrical engineering then you have to apply for an ETO course in some other some companies like some college like JESCO or SCI Pawai or Anglo Eastern like that then they will they will train you uh, in the college for four months uh, then you have to join as trainee electrical officer in eight months for the ship sir after BTEC or BE degree what is the minimum qualification for it doing ETU courses? That's depend upon the uh, the college. Mm -hmm. the, uh, first, you have to pursue a BTEC, then you have to apply for the college. They will they will give you the uh, full details how much marks uh, in PCM you need to occur, and after that you have to write a uh, return exam. Then, if you pass the return exam, then you have to apply for an oral. In the same uh, oral, then after that passing the oral you have to go for a medical exam yeah. so sir can you please tell me your journey from trainee yellow to electrical officer please. after completing my ETO course from uh, great eastern shipping company okay. i jo uh, i waited for eight months for the ship and uh, in the in the middle i got i got a call from shipping corporation of india and i joined there and my first ship was a passenger ship a 40 year old ship in the andaman sector so about one year i worked there and I didn't, I didn't enjoy the shipping life because a lot of work was there. It's a 40 year old ship, so a lot of work was there. I didn't get in proper proper sleep and proper food like that. So yeah, I can't, I can't remember that day. It's a totally horrible. Then I joined after that ship. I joined to a VLCC. It's a crude oil carrier. Uh, it's a good, good ship. It's made by. So sir, uh, something about your uh, COC exams. Yeah, COC exam. For normal guys, it's need a uh, 12 or 8 months experience in the onboard ship for applying for the COC exam. But I took 4 years because I, I did so many uh, so many different different ships. So uh, I need to acquire more knowledge. So I, I um, and the COC, COC is not compulsory on that time. So I took four, uh, about 4 uh, four years and I applied COC in Cochin and in first chance itself I got that COC. So, what to say, it's a very difficult difficult area in the life. <laughs> Sir, any message you want to give to new aspirants who want to join Merchant Navy as electrical officer? For a message, I have to say you have to work hard. The, you need a mind to work hard. Because you are the only guy uh, in the electrical section. And maybe if you are lucky, you will get a trainee or a senior. Sometimes you will not get any trainee or uh, trainee or a senior, so you have to work hard and you have to know the, all the basics. After all, you have to use your own uh, full logic 
in that work if uh, some work came you have to use the a to z uh, logic of your electrical knowledge and so sir thank you for giving me some time from your busy schedule i hope uh, you guys have liked my video it is especially for those who wants to join uh, merchant navy as electrical officer i hope you get some knowledge from this video if you like my video please share the video and subscribe to my channel thank you